Hey guys, welcome to day 191 of my carnivore journey. So uh it's it's going. Um physically I feel stalled out a little bit, but at the same time still loving carnivore. So one thing I gotta say is um really getting away from spices have really helped when it comes to just like eating ground beef or uh steak especially like with just salt so good now um also it was uh, suggested for me that i sort of dry age my beef uh for a couple days in the fridge and then make it so i'm gonna try it uh i got a steak i'm gonna go ahead and leave it uncovered do a little bit of salt on it and I'll leave it set till Thursday. Um, today is like Wednesday or Tuesday night. So I'll let it set till at least Thursday. And then uh, we'll cook it up and see how that, that goes. <laughs> um, and then, uh, but today uh, I had some ground beef. And I hadn't had ground beef in a while. Like I hadn't had my one pound burger. Now, I didn't make it like I did in the past. I... My roommate wanted an egg in his, and he wanted it with some seasonings like I made for him. So um, so I did that for him. For me, I did a burger. My burger, I just I actually took like three, well, not three tablespoons. Um, I'd say like a tablespoon and a half, but it was like three slices of butter. But I would say probably the slices were a total of like a tablespoon and a half or something. And I kind of diced them up into small squares and threw them in the burger meat along with a teaspoon of salt. And I just hand mixed that all, mashed it all together real good. Um, just trying to break up those fibers a little bit more. Um like I said, just really worked it in like a dough and, and squeezed the, the meat in my hands, all that stuff, and made it into a burger patty. And, of course, used my burger press. And I actually did it on the iron skillet. Now, I don't have a pitcher tonight. I apologize. Um, I probably will use one of my old burgers uh, photos for the thumbnail. But, I mean, but I, I will... I forgot. I can't believe I forgot. So I'm going to have to get back in the habit of making sure I keep taking pictures. I, I I try to show you guys actual pictures of, even though I've already had many one pound burgers in the past. But anyways, um, but it was just salt and butter. Like I mixed butter on the inside of the burger, basically, and then fried it up, used a little bit of baking grease, but I did an iron skillet. So I've got a good sear on it and, um, Pulled it off at like a, uh, a medium well. And um, it, it, the burgers came out great. I, put, I did put a few more small pats of butter on the top. Let it melt when it was resting. Really good. Really good burger. Again, we, we're getting away from garlic powder and onion powder, stuff like that. I got to say, it just keeps you from getting burnt out on meat. Because your body's like, hey, this is all good stuff, no toxins. For lunch, I had two hot dogs. I know, I know. I promise, guys, I will get to making some hard-boiled eggs soon. I will. Um, I will. I, I need to. But today, I also had um, some issues with my car. My car was like throwing a bunch of codes and like it started running like crap. And at first, every at first, everything led to it was already had a problem like that started a couple of weeks ago. And I just had been meaning to put off fixing it. And it was a it was like a purge valve. Which I, I needed to, to fix and and um but then the other day, my car just started running like crap. And well, the first 
cheapest thing, well, not cheapest, but kind of one of the sort of fixes was a, a sensor, this mass air sensor. It's like a hundred bucks. So I changed that. I also changed that other purge valve for like 50. So I dropped like $150 into my car and I, I changed the sensors myself. They weren't that hard actually. Um, didn't fix it. So now I'm looking at having to change the spark plugs and the coal pack. And I think there's a misfire. I think it might be to do with the coal pack. So either way, it's going to be close to almost $200 more money to do that. So it's like, ugh. and I'm trying to do it in between everything. Um, Cause again, I use my personal car for my second job, which I drive a few hundred miles. So like tonight I drove my car, but again, with that misfire, it's not running optimally. Gas mileage is, is down and when it's idling, it's really rough. Um, it's just not, you know what I mean? I, I just can't keep running it like that. Um, so hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to get the right fixes, uh, finish fixing it. And I'm hoping everything will work out tomorrow. <laughs> so uh, wish me luck. Okay, that that's all I'm going to say. Wish me luck. Um, now, as far as like carnivore goes, though, just uh, I just wanted to kind of say, guys, that you know, hang in there. Um, after me doing this for six months, you know, I still have moments where I keep thinking it might just be easy to give up and go back to all the naughty foods. But I really have conditioned myself to despise foods when I go into when I go into the supermarkets. I can walk down the aisles and I'll see things like peanut butter. I'll see all these different products, and I can I can picture how they tasted, and it it triggers a lot of sort of sadness like I, it's like when you miss something you know it's like man i miss all those flavors you know i miss the the sugarness the sweetness i miss a lot of that stuff and again you know in your head it's just like you start to despise it almost like damn you food industry for for creating this these these abominations you know these delicious abominations these tasty poisons damn you but the reality is 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 convenience you know um after six months i've got a lot of things down to a science but at the same time there's a certain convenience to eating a sad diet that is hard to I mean, it's just so convenient. You know, it's just easy to just swing by places to eat, microwavable dinners, you know, meals in bags, you know, all that stuff. You know, it's just so convenient. But again, it's obviously so horrible. And it's what led me to to be, you know, 315 or 320 pounds, basically, because I know I was bigger than 315, you know, at some point there. Sorry, guys. I'm tired. It's a, literally the end of the night, like two in the morning. I'm recording this because, you know, I wanted to make it at the end of the night, but I was working on my car before I had to get my car done before my second job. I got home from my second job a little bit ago, so I wanted to do my daily video. But guys, I love you guys. You guys are amazing. Um, and if you have, if you guys, you know, hit me up in the comments if you want me to talk about certain aspects of the carnivore diet if you have more questions for me um and also don't forget allcarnivoreinfo.com please use the website let me know if you visited the website let me know what you think of it now now that i've re you know redone some things um or if you have any other compliments all those things but guys i love you guys and i will see you tomorrow 
for day 192. Bye.